Hi guys. guys, and welcome back to another student vlogger video by Casey and Lee. Today we're going to be going through what we have in our kitchen and what we recommend you guys to get. So these are our kitchen essentials. So I personally think a huge one kilogram bag of pasta is essential. And um, to be honest, this big bag does me right up until the end of first term. And um, I make so much with it, so I highly recommend that. My favorite kitchen essential is these little fry light sprays that you use um, in the pans before you start to cook something. So it's easier than having oil and accidentally putting too much in. You just give it a wee spray and it's really low in calories and a lot better for you than a lot of other oils. Another thing that I would recommend is these wee oh, I don't know, sorry, um, peppermint infusion tea bags. I love peppermint tea. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm really stressed, I just think wee peppermint tea calms me right down and to be refreshing and soothing. For me, I'm more of a coffee drinker. So we have these little tubs for coffee, tea and sugar. And these are so easy. Just have them right by the side, ready to make my coffee in the morning. I normally just get a big tub and fill it up and it lasts me. On the topic of drinks and coffee and so on, I love Alpro oat milk. And I think oat milk is the nicest milk alternative. It's really good for the environment and oat milk lasts for very long as well, it doesn't go out of date really quickly like normal dairy milk does. I love having a little tub of oats in the kitchen. Oats are so versatile, especially for breakfast. You can make porridge, you can have them with some yogurt, you can bake them. So many breakfast options and so little to think about. So I like to always have these in the cupboard. Another thing for me is I like to go and get reduced um, fancy baked bread from Tesco Bakery, 44p, and then I will freeze this bread, and it will last me for so long, because I don't know about you guys, but every time I buy fresh bread, it always goes out of date, and I end up not using it, so I think that's the best for waste. I like to have these little whole wheat um, tortilla wraps. They're so good for dinners and for lunches. You can use them when you're having fajitas, or you can just have a little wrap for your lunch. They do keep as long as you keep them sealed, and they're normally quite cheap as well. I think these were under a pound. Um, I love tomato passata and with tomato passata I love Italian peeled plum tomatoes. I make my own wee um, Italian sauce with these two things and they're so so cheap. I think this was 32p and this was 36p and it's just so nice and so healthy. Another great thing similar to that is a big jar of pasta sauce um, because like Lee said you're going to be making a lot of pasta if you're a student. We're quite Italian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, lasagna. Bonjour. <laughs> We got four jars of this the other day there because they were all reduced to 26p on offer and there's literally nothing wrong with them. Yeah. I always buy these huge bag potatoes. They're called Imperfect Potatoes by Tesco's and a huge bag of these is only one pound. These are so versatile. You can have boiled potatoes, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, baked potatoes, yeah. roasties, yeah, we, we get and it. you can make <laughs> lovely, lovely seasoned wedges with them. Another thing that's really great to have in your cupboard is tins and especially ones like these. So we've got a wee simple tomato and basil soup and some beans. So this is just when you can't be bothered making your lunch, just crack open a wee tin of soup, heat it up, boom. Beans, lunch, dinner, cheesy beanos, perfect. Also breakfast. Beans, beans, good for the heart. Um, I love to get frozen veg, so frozen sliced peppers and frozen onions. They're just so much better um, price-wise. I mean, I go through vegetables, vegetables so quickly because I cook a lot. So these do me longer and they, yeah, they're just so good. Me. Another thing that's super great to have is just some little flavored yogurt. This one's actually 0% fat, so cheap and actually quite good for you. And it's just so good to have if you can't bother making a, a big breakfast, then you've got this. Um, and next um, we have these oven baked crisps. Everyone loves a snack. So these are obviously oven baked and not fried. So again, these are a healthier option. It's also good to have some fruit in your kitchen. So we like to have some bananas and we've got this little tin of peaches. Now the good thing about this tin is that um, they stay fresher for longer because they're in juice rather than the bananas, which I mean, doesn't really often happen to us, but they do go brown quite quickly. So it's better to have both options. And, um, and if your bananas do go brown, uh, you can use them for a wee banana bread, which is very nice. 
And last, what's really important to always have in the cupboard is a selection of spices. Mm -hmm. So these are just four of our favorites, but they're so, so good just to have because you never know what recipes will need them. It's good to kind of flavor up a bland dish. And student food does not need to be boring. It does not need to be bland. And it's so easy just to spice up your favorite recipes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, if you want to see more content like this, check out our YouTube channel, Katie and Lee. We hope you enjoyed the video and we hope that you found it really helpful. Thank you. Bye. Bye.